since last night when he took you home. Do you think he would marry me? Girl, the Golden Hawk is married to the sea. What would he do with two wives? I was the only one in his life last night. Oh. <laughs> what I mean is... <laughs> he was very gallant, Bernardo Diaz. He looked at me and said, I place you on a pedestal, Maria. You're a goddess, a masterpiece in marble. He even gave me his pistol and said I could shoot him if he did anything I didn't like. I see. What did you do with the pistol? I gave it back to him, of course. <laughs> He's given that pistol to every senior leader from here to Tortuga. Yeah, it would not be so bad being stranded here if we could pass the time the way he does. I still curse that blasted storm that wrecked our vessel. Oh, she was a trim craft. Uh, maybe someday we... Captain Gerardo, if this should get back to my father, it would cause a terrible scandal. It's not as though I were a pirate, mademoiselle. A French privateer, it's almost as bad. Why did you want to come here today? I? Why, sir, that is an unfair question. Shall I answer it for you? You take a lot for granted. For granted? <laughs> Do you think I would dare? With the most beautiful woman I've ever seen? I hold you on a pedestal, Emily. You're a goddess, a masterpiece in marble. Oh, no, please. I, I only wanted to meet you. Everyone is talking. They say you're dangerous for any woman. <laughs> and did you want to prove that I am or that I'm not? Could you order something for us to eat? I already have. You were sure I'd come here. Emily, Emily. You pay too much attention to what people have been saying. Now you don't trust me. And how can I? Well, perhaps you're right. Here. I will prove my love. If I do anything, the, the, the least little thing that doesn't meet with your approval, you have my permission. Shoot me. Oh, kid. Kid, you do love me. Oh, you really do. Listen, the bell! Price you excited. Another price excited. We've got to sit here with our tongues hanging out. Well, what is she? Spanish ship of the line. Mountain 60 guns. 60 guns, huh? Yeah. Not risking my ship against a vessel that size. Near as I can make out through the glass, she's the Garza. Garza? Owned and captained by Luis del Toro. Who buys it for Garza? He's bound to be carrying plenty of gold. That's gold I don't want. What's that bell, darling? Oh, some little merchantman that'll fall like a ripe plum to one of Basterre's uh, businessmen. To our love, Emily. May it always be as beautiful as you are. Never leave me, kid. Take me away from Basterre. We can be married. <laughs> married? I... Who is it? Anandro, open up quick. For once you landed right, kid. The Garza was just sighted off Lands Point. The Garza? Luis del Toro ship. We can't let him get away this time. I'll listen to any suggestion, except swimming. I suppose those fools downstairs are afraid to attack. They don't think they're fools. Del Toro carries 60 guns. Just what do you expect to do with that? There are plenty of ships in Basterre, and I mean to have one now. Oh, kid, where are you going? Go home to your father, Emily. A live father's better than a dead husband. Oh, please. 
Please, don't let him be killed. It won't be easy, but I'll do the best I can. the smell of gold. Are we to be idiots and let the richest prize of the year get away? Why, the Garza carries more bullion than you can spend in a year. Listen to the Frenchman! <laughs> <laughs> he talks brave without a ship. We're not idiots enough to fight warships. The Garza has 60 guns. Admitted. But what good are those guns without a target? A small, fast vessel and a skillful captain can sail rings around her. Snap at her heels like a terrier at the hooves of an ox. Or like a hawk when it attacks a horse. Well, I've seen terriers and hawks make mistakes, and then, zip! <laughs> <laughs> so you don't agree, you English peacock. You think it can't be done? I think it can. Speed does it, they says. Speed and more speed. A nip here, a nip there, another nip. And before you know it, you've nipped enough to sink a hundred gunner. Aha, a man of intelligence and vision. You're the makings of a Frenchman, sir. The makings of a fool. Uh, so you think so, do you, my hearty? I'm your man, matey. We'll nip the Spaniard to his doom. You can sail with me on the Glasgow. Thanks, but there's only one ship in Basque fast enough for the Garza. Yours, Jeremy. The Sea Flower. Now we're all agreed that the Sea Flower is our ship. The Hawk is right. And yet our captain sits here on the shiny seat of his pants and refuses to let us make an honest living. It's a Sea Flower or nothing. Aye. Little Sea Flower can turn the trick. Sure. Yeah. sure. That sure. lost it, Tyrant. Or to take the sure. bread right out of our mouth. Oh, wait, you dull-witted. Do you throw in with our plan, Mr. Smithers? The more I hear of your opinions, the less I think of them. Come on, come on, come on. Say no, you'll kill me and take my ship anyhow. A wise deduction. <laughs> the place is mine, Captain Gerardo. Since we're all going to die fighting the Gaza anyway, my pride won't have too long to suffer. Now, if you'll kindly take this thing out of my throat. You handle a blade well. It's a pleasure to have you with us. We sail at once to overtake the Gaza before dark. With yeah! smiles on our faces. Uh, the Garza's goal to make you feel better. Taking the Gaza will be as impossible as taking the fort of Cartagena, where she sails from. Don't be too sure, my friend. One day the Spanish power will be broken at Cartagena.
Surely they can't be thinking of attacking us, Captain Del Toro. I'm afraid so. Too bad such courage must find its reward at the bottom of the sea. I wonder if the Gaza's captain thinks we're as crazy as I do. One broadside from... No the broadside will hit us, my friend. Light the torches! Light the torches! Out of starboard! Out of starboard, sir! No good, sir. We can only bring our aft guns to bear. Hold the ladder! My ladder, sir! Make for the stern and dive over fast. Run! Are we letting that gold get away on account of a lot of gawking females? Gawking females? <laughs> <laughs> I want Del Toro more than you want that gold. The men won't like it. Bernardo, steer northwest. We're not chasing the Garza. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're breaking off the paddle, sir. Do we go after them? No. We're waddling like a duck. Let them go. We'll get another chance. Hi. Am I to stand here and freeze to death while your men get their eyes full? <laughs> Throw the wench back into the briny if she can't thank you any better than that for saving her life. Saving my life, you bellowing cockroach! <laughs> Seems to me I've died from the frying pan into the fire! I'll get you some dry clothes. You'll do more for them than they'll do for you, but it's the best we have to offer. This way. <laughs> <laughs> Then Del Toro raided the island of Marie Gallat. And although I'm Dutch and neutral, I was taken a prisoner with the other women. I escaped from Del Toro the bull, only to be captured by Kit Gerardo the hawk. The word is rescued, not captured. And you look magnificent in those clothes. <laughs> I inspire you, of course. Jane Van Cork, you say you're Dutch, and yet you don't sound Dutch. Well, uh, I've traveled the islands with my father since I was a child. I speak several languages. I suppose Del Toro sacked the town and killed most of the men. Mm -hmm. No one is safe as long as the English, French, and Spanish are at war. Del Toro will pay for everything. It isn't just war with you and Del Toro, is it? You really hate each other. Perhaps, but it's of no importance to anyone but me. 
careful, it's important to me. I don't intend to go chasing all over the Caribbean with you while you hunt for him. You'll get back to Marie Galant someday? Someday, which means I am a prisoner then. You'll receive every consideration. And from you in particular, I suppose. Some ladies haven't objected. They were no ladies. Where's the galley? I'm hungry. Since you prefer not to feed my vanity, I shall be delighted to feed your stomach. I gave you my cabin so you could sleep comfortably. What are you doing here? He is calm, untroubled, not like people. It has its storms. Surely you have none. Don't I? You're very young, very lovely. What more could you want? To be left alone. No, wait, please. You don't like me. Why? Your reputation for conquest extends from one end of the Caribbean to the other. Good night. I'll see you to your cabin. come to your hair? Why should you be afraid of me? Afraid? <laughs> I'm just tired. We'll discuss it some other time. We'll discuss it now. I haven't stopped thinking about you since we fished you out of the water this afternoon. As long as you keep your thoughts to yourself, I've no objection. Jane, you do me an injustice. I've put you on a pedestal. You're a goddess cast up from the sea, a masterpiece in marble dedicated to love. Go on, Captain. It sounds fine. <sighs> I expected no less. Be thankful you can expect no more. Will you leave now? There's no bolt on the door. I'll uh, see that no one bothers you. Who will see to it that you do not bother me? Mademoiselle, since you do not trust me, perhaps I can prove that my intentions are of the best. You have my permission to use this. Perhaps you mean it at that. You're really very thoughtful. Then... But we are friends. I'll think about it. Good night. my friend. You look remarkably refreshed for her. She did not give you back your pistol. There's a good breeze. Set those headsels. Now. Lend a hand. Work? Not when I know where I'm going. You've been aboard over three days, and I still haven't found out what course to take with you. 
Maybe you're not as good a navigator as you think. Captain? beginning to wonder if you never would come out at night. It was stuffy in the cabin. And lonely? Not that lonely, Captain. <laughs> Good night. Good night. So these are good intentions. But Jane... Winter, the pirate herself. The most dangerous woman this side of Hades. I knew he'd try that pistol trick once too often. concerned with you than finding that red-headed sea devil. All we know is Rouge must have reached one of the small islands. Which one? I don't know. We pass a lot of them during the night. I'd still like to know what Rouge the pirate was doing as a prisoner in a Spanish ship of the lion. I'll find out. Her path and mine will cross again. Meanwhile, the men want gold. They'll get plenty. gets his share. And don't forget to put a share aside for the king. Good. These things gleam brighter than the reddest hair, and they will serve you even in your old age. But not as warmly, eh, kid? We've searched every square mile of the Caribbean. Where is she? How can you find her? One minute she's Dutch, the next she's a pirate flying an English flag. The Tortuga, they say her ship, the witch, took three prizes. One Frenchman and two Dutchmen. I shouldn't worry about the lady. She's doing very well. But now she's disappeared. He worries as if he were a father or a lover instead of being nothing but a target for a pistol. You think she was the only wench in the world? Captain, there's a couple more prisoners on deck. Bring them along. Bring them along. <laughs> Kip! Kip! They 
they were hiding. But we got them out before the flames got too hot. And so help me, they said they'd drown the roast and be made prisoner of a pirate called the Ark. <laughs> now there's a succulent morsel that might not shoot a man. What are your names? Perhaps a couple of days on bread and water. No, he would spoil her figure. Her name? Bianca del Valdiva. Bianca, the fair one. It fits. One of the finest families in Spain. Doña Elena, there is no reason to engage in conversation with this thieving pirate. This ship flies the flag of France. To Spain, you're a pirate. Where were you bound? Tell him nothing. Bernardo? No! Wait. She has a temper. She was on her way to Cartagena to be married. Ah, it seems a pity to waste so much loveliness on a Spaniard. The richest, most powerful man in all Cartagena, sir. Don Luis del Toro. Del Toro? Del Toro? You know him? My regrets, senorita. One day I shall have to make you a widow. Lock her in one of the spare cabins. Somebody told me I would not believe it. A girl as beautiful as the angels of dawn, and you keep her locked up in a cabin. What are you going to do with this Bianca del Valdiva? No doubt Luis del Toro thinks she's as beautiful as you do. It ought to be worth 10,000 crowns to him to get her back. Ransom? But how can we arrange it? You know the harbor at cul-de-sac? Yeah. But there's nobody there but the native. A perfect meeting place. You will have to give that pig del Toro safe conduct. 10,000 crowns should be revenge enough for the moment. But it won't make me forget that he killed my mother. He'll pay more later. Fair enough. Then do we set sail for cul-de-sac? We already have. Crack out all sails! <laughs> Captain Gerardo, are we nearing this hideout of yours? We should make land in a few hours. And there's nothing I can do to make you change your mind. Just what would you do to save Luis del Toro 10,000 gold pieces? Never mind. I've no respect for a woman who'd marry him anyway. And you have respect for all your other women. That bothers you, doesn't it? Do you think you're so much better? You'll learn to respect me. By touching you or not touching you? You're the property of Luis del Toro. You'll get back the merchandise he pays for, and it'll do us both well to remember that. I deliver a cargo intact when the price is paid. I don't care if Smithers never comes back with Del Toro and all the gold. <laughs>
fool of yourself. I'm going to our hut. You stay here. I certainly will not stay Doña here. Elena. I don't know. The Smithers should have been back before now. Are you sure Don Lewis thinks enough of you to pay all that gold? Would you? You've had too much to drink. The dancing's going to your head. You know, all the time you've been here, you've barely looked at me. Another girl? I don't know if she exists or if she ever did exist. For you to remember, she must exist very much. You'll be marrying Don Lewis. My father's promised me to him. He was wanting to kill him. Why? I'm sorry that we met. It would be better not to know but the But he one. will try to kill you, too. It's bad for both of us that we met. You'll leave here and forget everything. And wonder if you two ever existed. Kids. I envy her. Good night. Once again, we meet Captain Dorado. Tell me, is it coincidence or purpose that makes our paths cross so disastrously each time? Do you remember the name Jean Bouillon? She was my mother. There is a resemblance. You were responsible for her death. No, amigo, that's not true. That I... is true. Put up your swords. You guaranteed me safe conduct. Now open the chest. Oh, you'll find them about the standard. Now the lady. Bring Mademoiselle Bianca. The red-haired girl who escaped from your ship to mine. What do you know of her? Only that she was newly arrived at Marie Galanti. Now the prisoners didn't know much about her. Did you find her entertaining? Sure, she shot him. <laughs> <laughs> Never expect a wildcat to show gratitude, Captain. I'm glad to see you looking so well, my dear. I hope that from now on you shall find nothing but happiness. Thank you, Don Lewis. Thank you for everything. We have both lived up to our part of the bargain. I have my gold, you have your bride-to-be. You may now leave. Ten thousand gold crowns. That's a lot of money to pay for one woman. Perhaps she's worth it. Our friend here will never know. <laughs> uh, get this chest aboard the ship. I want to clear this harbor before nightfall. Raise that anchor! Raise anchor! Spanish ships off the line! 
on the larboard! Bernardo! Bernardo! Looks as though Del Toro wants the last word. He must have followed me from Cartagena. Maybe we can make a run for it before he blocks the harbor. You're blown out of water? No thanks, Jeremy. Lower anchor! They're signaling for our surrender. Deals, rats. Asking us to strike our colors. They must like our company. They're sending a boarding party at dawn. I say fight them. I'd rather die that way than hang from a yard arm. It's a noble sentiment, Jeremy. I'd rather not die at all. There may be another way out of this. We'll know better after dark. Secure these powder tanks. Ready to go, Kit. All right, keep away. By the time it explodes, the sea fire must be under sail. We'll be ready. Kit, be sure to grab those lines. If we don't, there's to be no turning back. Remember that. All right, now slack away. Over you go, Stoll. Stand the braces. Stand by the anchor. Stand the braces. Stand by the anchor. Stand by the slack away. They're almost there. Hoist anchor! Yeah, 
Jeremy. Del Toro won't give up that easily. Ship off the starboard bow, making for our position. He's flying an English flag. She's English, all right. The cotton feet is fast. We can't sacrifice the man, Kit. It'd be suicide to fight the three of them. Strike our color. My compliments, Captain Gerardo. You almost escaped. Unfortunately for you, the word almost often makes for the difference in a man's fate. It is fortunate for you that the word and the English were on your side. Captain Gerardo, I want you to know I had nothing to do with this. I accept your apology. The moment the English captain's aboard, we'll decide what's to be done with you, sir. There can be but one punishment, Excellency. Hang him. Now that you've made your apologies to Captain Gerardo, would you care to return to the Gaza? Yes, thank you. Captain? If you'll be kind enough to show me to your cabin, sir, I'll inspect your papers. Captain, yes, So, this vessel belonged to the English pirate. Captain Smithers fights for me, as a French privateer, not as a pirate. There are some courts that don't differentiate between a pirate and a privateer, Captain. I had heard that your Spanish courts know nothing of justice. What manner of prisoner is this who expects justice from a del Toro? Your Excellency, may I present Captain Rouge of His Britannic Majesty's ship, the Witch. I had no idea that I'd ever be so indebted to you, Senorita. Except for the alliance between your country and mine, Don Lewis, we have nothing in common. I still haven't forgotten the kidnapping of the women of Marie Gallant. Oh, in Cartagena we have many soldiers and they need wives. I had no way of knowing that the famous Captain Rouge would be part of my romantic cargo. Why were you? For very good reasons of my own, Your Excellency. Well, so I see the Golden Hawk still flies. No thanks to you. <laughs> I could have killed you if I'd wished. Then I take it you are not too displeased with me. That's the only thing that pleases me, Captain Gerardo. That chest of gold. Ours? No, ransom I paid Gerardo. How much is in it? 10,000 pieces. Oh, 10,000 pieces. I thought it only fair to take it back. But if I hadn't come along when I did, he would have escaped and you'd have had nothing, Don Lewis. I should think you'd be very happy to settle for half of it. You come to my aid and then charge me for it? Perhaps I'm charging you for the time I spent in your ship as a prisoner. Her rates are high, Del Toro. Would you care to see the scar on my shoulder? You shall have your 5,000 pieces of gold. My one failing is that I can deny nothing to a beautiful woman. Then you will have no objection to letting Gerardo live. He saved my life once and I don't like to be obligated to anyone. Very well. And the rest of these French pigs? Your pardon, sir. I'm an English pig. We'll dump their cannon overboard. Good. Just leave Captain Gerardo his pistol. He may find another woman he wishes to impress. Take that chest on deck and count out half of it for Captain Rouge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll arrange to jettison the sea flower's arms. Having met on more equal terms, I find this war most pleasant. Adios, senor. Adios, senorita. A most pleasant journey, Captain Gerardo. I trust the next enemy ship you meet won't be so generous with you. Never to pass judgment on a woman again. I thought you'd have us drawn and quartered. Del Toro could have killed all of us. Had us hanged from our own yardarm. Why didn't he? It was a girl who saved us. 
Del Toro could have overruled her had he wished. Now, the mystery had a pleasant ending. Why worry about it? Governor Ducasse will have to rearm this ship. We sail at once for San Domingue. Prepare to get underway. Gentlemen, as governor of San Domingue, I've had the Sea Flower completely rearmed. She's ready to sail. Kit. Yes, Your Excellency. You've sought revenge against Luis del Toro for a long time. And now you're going to have it. To you, the King of France has bestowed the honor of destroying the most powerful Spanish stronghold in the Caribbean, Cartagena. Cartagena? That's not an honor, that's suicide. Blasted decent of your king, I must say. You will be supplied with a large fleet and as many soldiers as you think necessary. Our Navy has never been able to take the fort at Cartagena. Every time we attack, the British fleet sails from Jamaica and attacks us from the rear. The English fleet won't be able to leave Jamaica without supplies. If the plantation warehouses and docks there are made useless by a series of fast raids. And who's going to lead these raids? You are, with the aid of the troops and your own men. And meanwhile, our ships are ready to sail for Cartagena. You realize the peril of gambling an entire fleet at Cartagena? It has to be done. And if we succeed? You'll have greater rewards than you could get in a lifetime of privateering. You'll have estates as large as duchies. What shall I report to the king? For a duchy, these men would attack Spain itself. Have you a map? The latest. You can land here. After that, gentlemen, the fate of France and the West Indies is in your hands. plantation in another hour. We need food and water. The owner's house can't be far away. Well, let's go. This was your place. Worked hard to build this plantation. Everyone thought a woman couldn't do it. But I did. It took four years of my life. Now in one afternoon. But your ship, your crew. My real name is Lady Jane Golfin. Lady Jane Golfin? You said nothing of your family. What was there to say? They're gone, all of them. Broken by wars with your country. I meant to get back our fortune any way I could. And so Lady Jane Golfin became Rouge the Pirate. You're the only one that has ever learned that. 
I even faced imprisonment to protect my name. I've never had reason to hate anyone as much as I hate you. It's strange. I agreed to lead this venture so that I could give you golden land. And instead, there never seems to be a time to tell you that I love you. I'll destroy you, the same as you've destroyed me, if I have to follow you all around the world. Kid, British troops moving this way. We'll make for the ship. We'll go on to Cartagena. After that, you'll have your fortune. Get out. And more. Get out. Or do you want to set the torch to my house, too? you out here? I'm sorry, Louise. Music makes one light-hearted. You should be dancing in there. If you wish. No. I'm sorry. I thought it would make you happy. I... I was wrong. All the love I've been able to give you has made you happy. I've tried to be the wife you wanted, and yet... Something in your mind. Some memory, perhaps, of a younger man, a Frenchman, a man with whom you spent several weeks. Luis. Shall I speak his name or will you? Kit Gerardo. I tell you, he means nothing to me. Then your memory of him would lessen if he were dead. I should have had him hanged when I had the chance. Then why didn't you? ship in the Caribbean must be here today. There have been as many as this before, and they still couldn't take out a henna. We've a new leader now. Things may be different. Keep a lot on your shoulders, my friend. The others only wanted Cartagena. I want Luis del Toro. And these? These are the various coves where the fleet will remain undercover. You captains will return to your ships. Bernardo and I are going into Cartagena alone. Alone? At once. You haven't a chance. The place is too heavily guarded. We know, gentlemen, that our first attack will be our only one. We must not fail. The guns of the fort have greater firepower. They may reduce us to flaming wrecks before we can get close enough to lose a single broadside. There is one certain way to ensure our success. To destroy the fort from within. From within? How? To destroy their powder magazines. Thousands of barrels of gunpowder. And how do you propose to accomplish all this? You forget, Jeremy, that I have a friend in Cartagena. A friend? Bianca. He will give her his pistol and she will give him all the information we need. Ah, l'amour. It is good that we French know how to do things in a civilized way. <laughs> <laughs> but Bianca de Valdiva is the wife of Luis del Toro. It's a dangerous kind of an amour, Captain. That will be all, gentlemen. You may return to your ships. Captain Smithers will be in charge in my absence. Kit, this plan of yours is insane. Bianca has her price. But she doesn't want gold. She does want me. Bianca del Valdiva is the key to an empire. An empire that will do me very nicely. Rouge has taught me that ambition and greed are the things to be desired. Ah, Rouge, a great philosopher. Get this whole plan... If Bernardo and I are not back within 36 hours, you will open the bombardment on the city and the fort. Even if you're still there? Yes. Be ready to leave in five minutes. Don't forget this. This is the only pistol in the world that could take a fortress.
might have been Bianca. If it wasn't, some women can scream loud enough to wake the dead. <laughs> it's a living I'm worried about. affordable mean your death. Take me to her. I sleep too much. Good night. Why are you here? Do you remember the night on the island? I said you'd leave and forget everything. I've hoped since that I was wrong. It seems strange that you would risk your life now for something you didn't want before. There's been time to consider. Did you come here for me? Or to kill Luis del Toro? You'd never be free as long as he lived. You want me to be free? Yes. And Rouge? I told you then I didn't know if she lived. She doesn't. A brave speech. Do you find it easy to be so positive? Bianca, I ask you to marry me. If you say yes, you'll help destroy Del Toro by destroying Cartagena. Uh, all of Cartagena? Yes. Is that quite necessary, Kit? It is. How can this be accomplished? Bianca, let's just say that the future can be all ours if you can get me the plans of the fort. You're sure she's out of your mind? I said so. Out of your mind, is she? The woman lives in you. Your lips have the warmth of granite. I've not bought that easily, Kit. If I could learn to live with Luis del Toro, I could learn to despise you. You're out of your mind. Am I? You've been to the dungeon? Yes. Well? There'll be a trial in the morning. A trial? Another husband would kill a man who broke into his wife's room. Broke into, Bianca? I told you, he wanted the plans of the fort. And why did he think he could get them from you? It's a question I wouldn't want to ask you tomorrow before the court, since you have no answer for it. As governor of Cartagena, you will preside at the trial. What will the judgment be? He and the other man will hang as spies or rot in the dungeon as ordinary French seamen. You could have hanged him before when you had his ship. And now you'll try to save him again. Why? Kit Gerardo is my son. He doesn't know it. He thinks of me only as a, a man who killed his mother. Your first wife? Jean Bouillon. She ran away from me after Kit was born. Later on, I found out where she was and followed her to France. She fought with me and 
she fell, hitting her head on the andon in the hearth, and the boy, the boy saw it happen and thought I killed her. Family called Gerardo brought him up. Now I find my son in love with you. No, Louis. No. He didn't want me. And you'd have him hanged for that. You don't hang a man you really love. I never learned to be generous, Louis. When I was a child, I used to destroy my toys rather than let my mother give them to anyone else. Louis. I want to be generous now. Can you help me? I'll do all I can. And whereas Christopher Gerardo and Bernardo Diaz did enter the city of Cartagena as French spies, it is the summation of the prosecutor that Christopher Gerardo and Bernardo Diaz shall suffer death on the gallows. We have no conclusive evidence that the defendants are French spies, Senor Prosecutor. But Your Excellency... Members of the Tribunal, Gerardo is a privateer, a merchant who found himself in enemy territory only because his ship was blown off its course. We have evidence only of this. Then I'll give you new evidence. I came as fast as my ship would bring me, Don Lewis. I had to anchor in a cove, for at this very minute, the French fleet is waiting outside your harbor, ready to attack. And you can expect no help from the English fleet. Gerardo has burned our supplies and leveled our wharves at Jamaica. You wanted evidence enough to hang Kit Gerardo? Now you have it. Your Excellency, in the light of this new evidence, you have no choice but to place this matter in the hands of the tribunal for written judgment. Tribunal will vote. of this court that Christopher Gerardo and Bernardo Diaz shall be hanged on the gallows at midnight. <laughs> Remove the prisoners. moment, please. I want to talk to you. Who are you? I once thought I loved Kit Gerardo. Your name? Bianca del Valiva. Oh. Wife of Don Lewis. Well, you're quite frank. I've always wanted to know one of Kit's women. There's a difference between being one of Kit's women and wanting to be. I see no reason why you should not have had the dubious honor. Thank you. Perhaps Kit has a more discerning eye. Let's just say I have cause to dislike you very much. What cause? Kit loves you. I don't think his judgment's very good in the light of what you've done to him. But there's an old saying. A man falls in love with love, not a woman. At one point, I would gladly have traded places with you. The way is still clear. Now, if you don't mind... Just a minute. You don't send a man to the gallows for no reason. No reason? I saw the work of many years go up in flames. Fire sweep across my plantation, destroying it. 
I saw the one thing I lived for become ashes. I can't forgive that. You're a strange woman, Rouge. Nothing means anything to you but the house and money and land. No man could mean as much. Then it's not only kid. Some man hurt you once, Rouge. Badly. Oh, I don't want to know about it. It's only important in that you're hanging Kit because of him. Any man will hurt you if you let him. And he'll hurt you more if you... If you... If you love him. Hmm? Kit needs you, Rouge. But he needs a strong woman, not a frightened one. Once a kid and your husband die, I would never allow myself to be obligated to anyone. But I owe you something. You owe it to yourself. You're right. You're right. I do love kid. I do. Bianca, will you help me? What will you have me do? Funny. I never thought the sound of hammering would bother me. It won't bother you for long. Smithers will be heading the fleet out of the coast by now. Maybe when they start the bombardment, we'll be able to... We won't be able to do anything hanging 20 feet in the air. Except to get a better view of the bombardment. I'd like to take that rouge with me because I know I'm not going to heaven. The lights burn late in Cartagena, Mr. Smithers. Think they're celebrating the capture of the captain and Bernardo? Joel, if we can, we'll level every building in that Spanish Hades. Break out the signal lights. Couldn't we wait a bit longer, Mr. Smithers? We've waited too long already. You know Kit's orders. 36 hours. Signal the other ships to start moving within cannon range. Aye, aye, sir. Let me in. What do you want? Let me in. What do you want? The carpenter sent me. <sighs> sent me to take measurements. The hangman is afraid the galley's drop is not deep enough for the tall one. The tall one. That's right. You know, it is bad luck for a man being hanged to not die on the first fall. Well, it happened once. And all the hangman's children got hiccups every time they saw a rope. Ah, witches talk. You, tall one. I've come so you can die right. Bearded one, get me some chalk. Stand up. Sergeant Alvarez. He's with the prisoners. He wants to see you. Me? I have horses waiting outside. Expecting you. You can get me in. 
I never thought I'd be taking orders from a man. We'd better hurry. Find those three and we'll lose our heads. Come on the street. the Frenchman excellent targets. We will have a good three minutes to blast them before they can deliver a broadside, sir. Light your torches! Coming in range of their guns, Mr. Smithers. Gun crews ready? Aye, sir. Good luck to us. Well, Captain? They're in range now, sir. Good. Commence firing. Sight your gun!
what a what a woman in love might do. Before Rouge came here, this fort was impregnable. You and Bianca will be comfortable on my ship. One of my doctors is better suited to... Oh, I'm more tired than anything else. You show great concern for your prisoner, Captain. I show great concern for my father. I told him. I thought he had the right to know. Why didn't you tell me my mother's death was an accident? You wouldn't have believed me. I loved your mother. I couldn't have harmed her any more than I could harm you. I can understand that now. Yeah.